today we want to have a closer look on raw materials and semi finished products for the battery industry. CB1 to CB4 are common carbon blacks for fuel cell electrodes production, but in this stage without platinum on their surfaces. As the pastes are deep black, we use the Lumirida X ray to characterize them. Here you can see the results for battery paste 1 after mixing times of 10 minutes, 5 hours and 20 hours. The picture in the very left is a compilation of several individual runs, whereas the two other measurements are continuous. The adhesion between the coating system and the substrate material is of major importance for the function and the performance of a battery or a fuel cell. To determine the properties, we use the Lumifrac using cut technology. Here the failure pattern changed slightly different. For the lower values, we had more adhesive failure of the adhesive tape to the coating system, and we could turn that into a large scale cohesive failure within the coating system. And also, this time, Cut technology enabled us to see that increase in the strength values. Let's switch over to the topic of electrodes for fuel cells. When looking at the failure pattern, it is visible that the layer residues on the adhesive adapters are more pronounced for the amplitude of 10%. So there is a low energy input during the dispersion process of the catalyst inks and for that reason, less adhesion forces within the layer network occurred. I hope you got some impressions how LUM analytical devices may help you to investigate materials related to the battery or fuel cell industry.